Hey everybody, I'm Aaron from Victory Glass, here to talk about our new solid state amplifiers. Uh, we're starting off with models available for Seabergs, uh, moving on to other manufacturers in the future. But the one we have ready to show you today is our model SSA2. This model is compatible with Seaberg R and J all the way up through 201. Uh, the other models that are going to be available will be the SSA-1, that will be for the M100A from 1949, all the way up to the uh, HF100G and W uh, from 1953. Um, and then the third model will be the SSA-3, which is a stereo model compatible with models 222 up through DS of 1962. So uh, the differences being the SSA-1 has provisions to run the original field coil speaker, and the SSA-2 does not have that. Um, this is a mono model for the R all the way up through the 201. And then uh, the SSA-3 will be for the stereo models. So, um, but I just wanted to show you some features of the amplifier. First of all, this is the new chassis. It's a complete drop-in chassis ready to install in the machine. Um, and it's all plug and play. All of the connectors simply unplug from your old tube amplifier. You install our new chassis plug everything in, away you go. Uh, but in addition to that, we've got some additional features on the new chassis. Um, we've got auxiliary input, so you can connect an external audio source, such as an Alexa, CD player, TV, anything you'd like, and also an auxiliary output, so you can connect this to an external powered speaker or an in-house music system. Uh, you know, if you have a, uh, some sort of a, a an audio system that pipes music through the whole house. You could set this up as another input and play your jukebox through the whole house. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, the connectors are the same as on the tube amplifier. This is the speaker output connector. This is the muting input and the phono input from the jukebox. And aside from that, there's a jukebox power connector. And what this is for, uh, with our amplifier, we're actually controlling the power of the machine. So you can remotely power the machine on and off from the app or also from the, the new wired remote that's included with the machine. So therefore, the cable, <coughs> excuse me, the power cable from the jukebox actually plugs into the amplifier and then there's a new power cable that goes from the amplifier to the wall. So we'll explain that during the installation process. But this is the chassis and one major, for <laughs> one major difference right out of the gate is that this is a very light chassis. It only weighs seven pounds. So it's a lot easier to ship, a lot less likely to get damaged in shipping, um, as opposed to the tube amplifiers, which are you know, much heavier. They have breakable tubes. You know, they're they're off, uh, off balance due to the transformers on one end, et cetera. Where this is a nice, easy to ship package, seven pounds. Uh, so very easy to transport. And it makes your jukebox a little bit lighter too, if that counts. On our next video, we're going to move on to show you how easy it is to install uh, into this R, and uh, we'll take it from there. 